Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we are BCSO once again, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. I changed up the texture pack a little bit. You can see right there. Um, I'm not sure if my Tahoe is sitting over there still. Oh, it is. I'm going to drive through right here just to show you um, that the secondary sheriff uh, vehicle has a bit of a different texture. No, it doesn't. What the hell? Okay, so from far away, it looks like this texture. Up close, it looks like that. Interesting. Okay. But we are BCSO once again, marking ourselves 10-8. Um, let's go ahead and make our way over to Grapeseed. Um, maybe... We'll even make our way up to Toledo Bay. Wait for this guy. Oh, okay. He's... I don't know what he's doing. Go ahead and take Joshua Road over to Grapeseed. See what kind of uh, action we can get into. Go down here. Sea View Road. Look at that beautiful sunset. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I finally installed Compulite, so we can finally write citations, uh, do arrest reports, and go a little bit more in-depth when we do, uh, traffic stops or, uh, arresting PEDs, so that is super exciting. Well, happy Friday to everybody. I hope you guys have a fun-packed weekend planned ahead of you. Okay, that guy just pulled out right in front of an LEO. Oh my gosh. So we'll go ahead and stop him. Oh, jeez. Brake checking much. Good grief. Pull over, man. You can do it. Come on. There you go. You're going to stop in a very bad spot. Yep, you're going to stop right here on a road. Come on, move. Go ahead and cancel the stop and try it again. All right, here we go. He's going to stop right. If you stop on that road, dude, why would you stop here? My God. Move up. There you go. Don't hit the thing. You're going to hit it. Oh, my God. All right. You're definitely under the influence of something. All right, we'll go ahead and do a uh, vehicle check here. License plate 85 Romeo Hotel Whiskey 211. Target vehicle license plate 85 Robert Henry William 211. Target is 104. 10-4, no active flags. Uh, Alonzo Fabrini. Let's go see if that is who we're dealing with today. Hey, man. Uh, reason for the stop is back there. Uh, you pulled out in front of me. My name is Officer Brandon with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. How you doing tonight? Um, let's go ahead and question you. Have you been drinking tonight? I've been sober for six months. There it is. The classic, I've been sober for six months. Uh, have you done any drugs recently? Drug is good for our wellness. There it is again. Uh, where are you headed? I'm going to work. All right, you work over here in Grapeseed? Cool, cool. Um... Go ahead and uh, provide me your license and registration and uh, proof of insurance. Thank you, thank you. Yep, Alonzo Fabrini. Thank you. thank you, man. I'll go ahead and go back to my vehicle and check that out. So I'll go ahead and show you that Compulite. All right, so I hold this key here. I'll open up Compulite so we can check the PED records. We'll click on that. Alonzo Fabrini. Like he... He's valid, no outstanding warrants. He has no gun permit, uh, no gun license, probation, no parole, no. Uh, he has had citations in the past, distracted driving, warning, leaving the scene of an accident, parking violation, and has been arrested. A felony charge for possession of ketamine. Good lord. Okay. Go ahead and check the vehicle here. Valid, valid. All good there. 
So we're going to go ahead and um, he's had history with us before. I don't know what departments those are. It could be BCSO or LSPD. But we're going to go ahead and write a citation. Uh, moving violations, non-moving violations, parking, blah, 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 blah. Moving violations, improper lane changing, violation right of way. Yeah, we'll go ahead and write that because I had the right of way. And he just decided to write in front of me. Go ahead and do that. Submit citation. And now he should have that violation of right of way. A pending court case has been issued. Go to CompuLite to view the court case. So that will be on 48 hours. So we have to do 48 hours in game to uh, get the results of the court cases. You can see I have some court cases here pending already. This one here is from my live stream on Twitch. Let's check it out. The uh, outcome is still pending. Pending, pending, pending. So I'll show you the results of these. Uh, I don't know if we'll get to the result on this one, but uh, if we don't, then I'll show you the results on the next episode of LSPDFR. So we wrote that citation. He'll be receiving that. Go back here and go let him know and send him on his way. Actually, you know what? He did hit... He hit that when he pulled over. So I'm going to see if he can consent to consent to a breathalyzer. Do ticket from CompuLite. All right, man, you're going get, to be getting a ticket of $237 for... Um, you basically uh, just pulled out in front of me. Um, and one more thing, when I pulled you over here, you crashed into this fence. Uh, it actually looks like it... I don't know if you're... Nope, it looks like your car is still on. It looks like your headlights are out now. Um, so this vehicle is actually inoperable. So I'm going to have to, you know, you're going to have to call a taxi or an Uber. I can do that for you. Um, but first, I want to see if you'll consent to a uh, breathalyzer test. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see here. Thank you. All right. You have been drinking. You said that you've been sober for six months, but you have been drinking. You're under the uh, illegal limit. Um, but this vehicle is still inoperable. So um, we're going to have to uh, get it towed. Unless you can get somebody down here to pick it up. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismiss. Uh, we're actually going to order you to leave the vehicle. Go ahead and step out for me. Hold it! And we're going to go ahead and escort you with the taxi. I would call an Uber, but I added a new taxi vehicle modded in uh, a CV Brown Victoria taxi. Let's see. Oh, wow. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. Looks good. All right, man. We're going to go ahead and get your vehicle towed. Um, you have a good night. Go ahead and West Tow Service. Large flatbed truck for that guy. So he'll be uh, heading home, or actually he's going to work, I guess. Um, but he got a citation for $237 for just pulling out in front of me. Wait, why'd you get out, man? You decided to walk? All right. What's he doing? Oh my good lord. Okay. Go ahead and stop this guy. Dude, you couldn't wait your turn. Man, Alonzo, what are you doing, man? Okay, and you just hit a fence. Good grief. What is with people tonight? Go ahead and... Stop there like that. And... Only problem is I would check the vehicle from... I guess I could. Let's go ahead and see if I can... Looks like it's 8-0. Yellow. Zebra. Quebec 733. Let me look this way here. Open up Ampulite vehicle records. Uh, actually, oh, there it is. It actually will search the vehicle in front of you. Cool. So we'll check that. Valid, valid. Uh, let's view the owner here. Name is Enzo Fernandez. Valid, none, no active uh, warrants. Uh, let's go ahead and speak with him and see what's going on. Hey, man, Deputy Brandon with, uh, Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Reason for the stop is back there. 
with that traffic, you decided to literally monster truck over that taxi cab. And when I pulled you over, you rammed into this fence. So I want to first uh, ask, or first start off by asking, have you had anything to drink tonight? Yes, I had a sip of wine. All right. Um, will you consent to a uh, breathalyzer test? Thank you. Thank you. All right. You have no alcohol in your system. All right. Have you had any uh, drugs recently? Do I need to answer that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and perform a drug swab on you anyway. Just because... Uh, you did, uh, you. flee an accident. Okay, you're negative. Uh, and you crashed into this fence. Uh, your license, registration, proof of insurance. Kiflam. Kiflam. Thank you, Mr. Thank uh, Fernandez. Bear with me while I, uh, go back to my vehicle and check it out. So here we go. We got, uh, reckless driving and leaving the scene of an accident under citations. Now, the thing here, it says arrestable. So, these are arrestable offenses, but they're just not popping up in the arrest report. Um, so, we will write him these citations. Um, I guess we can either arrest him or we can give him a break. But I think we'll go ahead and uh, do an arrest. But I just won't be able to fill out an arrest report. Uh, we'll go ahead and submit those citations. Yeah, see, it just won't pop up in arrest records. Um... You try one more time. Let me see. There's just nothing in here. Uh, Nonviolent crimes. So we'll do the destruction of property here. And go here. And then we'll add in some short notes here. And basically uh, put in that he fled. Uh, well, I cannot type today. Scene of an accident. Hit OK on that. Sub oh, submit charges. So there we go. Misdemeanor destruction of property with footnotes. Uh, we got reckless driving citation leaving the scene of an accident. So we'll um, go ahead and issue the citation. Hey, man, you're going to be getting a uh, citation of uh, $650 for destruction of property and uh, fleeing the scene of an accident. But, uh, unfortunately, here in the state of San Andreas, those are also, um, uh, arrestable offenses. So, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the vehicle at this time. Alright, so, uh, I'll hold on to the citation for you. Uh, I just need you to sign it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but for right now, you are being placed under arrest for destruction of property and fleeing the scene of an accident. Uh... Uh, again, these are charges that you can fight in court, but right now you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. Do you understand these rights? Full beans. Go ahead and, uh, patch you down. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me? Hopefully not, man. Hopefully you can just get these misdemeanor charges. And not get any felonies charges. Okay, an iFruit phone, a cell phone, and a pocket camera. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put you in the back of my cruiser. Just for now. Got anything in the vehicle I should be concerned about? Well, I'm going to go ahead and check it anyway. Just sit tight for me, okay? Go ahead and search his vehicle, see if there's anything in here that uh, we should be concerned about. Search the vehicle. Uh-oh. A 9mm reported stolen. Badminton uh, racket, a badminton racket, a shovel, glass cutting equipment. Okay. Well, go ahead and get the vehicle towed. Large flatbed truck for that guy. Flatbed. Assistance required. Well, well, Great well. Seat. All right, man. Unfortunately, uh, give me one second. Let's actually go back here. Do a weapon serial check. Oh, well, okay. 
Yes, we can on the stolen weapon. All right, man. Unfortunately, I did find a nine millimeter in your uh, vehicle that uh, is reported stolen. Uh, so, whoops. Unfortunately, that is going to be tacked onto your charges, and I was hoping that you would just have to deal with this misdemeanor charge, but go down here. Illegal possession of a or possession of a stolen firearm, that is a felony charge. Man, that really sucks. That's too bad, man. Go ahead and uh, request transport for this guy. Here comes prison transport now. Man, we couldn't even get into Grapeseed without stopping two people. Uh-oh. Got a pursuit in progress. Go ahead and... Uh, oh, shots fired. Shots fired. Dispatch unit 1661, uh, in route. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! A deer hit my car. Oh! Oh, no! A deer hit my car. There's blood all over my car. We have reports of shots fired. Uh, looks like they are now on CV Road. Oh, watch out, cow! How many animals? are walking across. Good grief. Okay, this car likes to drift. Looks like they are now just about to uh, get on to... Uh, nope, looks like they are now on Joshua Road. Go ahead and get local patrol since shots are fired. Watch out, bro! Pull over for LEO, man. That guy knows what to do. Oh man, it looks like we are heading... We're getting closer to, uh, to the city. Uh, we'll be in Los Santos County here very shortly. And if they have shots fired and we are heading into the city... Oh man, that is not good. We're pretty much now in Los Santos County, so we really don't have, um, authority. Uh, but since the pursuit started in Blaine County, uh... We still have Blaine County Sheriff. Uh, we pretty much have uh, jurisdiction over this pursuit, but we will call in local uh, patrol, which will be LSPD. I guess that's how that works. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but pretty sure if a pursuit starts somewhere, uh, we're still able to engage uh, if we're in a different jurisdiction. Oh, nope, they're... Uh, Oh, they're over here. Good lord almighty. Local patrol unit. Okay, we just heard an explosion. Uh, that's not good. Code three. Run fire. He's now, uh, up here. We'll be heading, uh, westbound. I got shots on me. Shots on me. East Eclipse Boulevard. Westbound. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we need to request uh, local SWAT. What, bro? Oh no! There's the LSPD. Good lord, these people. We need to put an end to this right now. Oh my god, we have a. Uh, we have officer down. We have a uh, disabled vehicle here. I don't see any downed officers. Oh my god. Looks like they're heading into the golf course. They are on the golf course. They might come out this way. There they are. There they are. Shot still being fired. Dispatch, we are on... Uh, the uh, golf and uh, country club down in uh, Metro Los Santos. And uh, I think this is uh, Rockford Hills. Suspects are now heading out of the golf and country club. Oh my god. Oh, don't hit me. We're now heading uh, westbound Del Perro Boulevard, heading towards uh, Vespucci Beach. Oh my 
god! Oh my god! Air one is down. Air one is down. Local EMS. We need local fire and EMS. Good lord. These people... These people need to die at this point. These people... Move out of the fucking way, dude. I I'm, I'm gonna shoot him out. Good lord. Okay. Suspects are now on foot. This is up. This is it right here. This is it. This is it. Get your gun out, man. That's it right there. Dead. We have an officer down. We have an officer down. Oh. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. I don't know. They might be broken. Oh, wait. There they are. You too, man. Get out of the car. All right. Okay. Good lord. <laughs> There's so many cops. You guys can... Let me move this car out of their way. Oh, my God. This is absolute mayhem. Oh, there's another dead cop. We have two officers down. Oh! Oh, I just shot a cop! Oh, my God. What is going on? <laughs> Go ahead and, uh, tend to injured officer here. Screw those guys. I am not gonna tend to those guys. We'll call a coroner for them. TPR is failed. Okay, so that is finally all cleared up. I don't know what's going on over there. That cop car blew up, and the siren is still going, so I apologize for that. But we're going to go ahead and end to this uh, fellow officer. CPR failed on that one over there, unfortunately. CPR is failed. These sons of bitches. All right, that is very unfortunate. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and request a coroner unit. That is super sad. Oh my god. We'll go ahead and search this vehicle. Uh, camera with photos depicting underage children. That is absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah. Good thing these guys are dead. Because they would have... They would not have survived in prison. Uh, the door fell off, so we don't have the license plate. Maybe we got the license plate on the front. Let's check. No. It might still let me check it, you know, just because. Uh, request vehicle check. Target vehicle license plate. Outstanding warrant. There it is. Oh, we'll go ahead and get it towed. Approach with caution. Quest tow service, large flatbed truck. Well, the coroner is going to take care of these guys. We'll go ahead and uh, get this police off. This, unfortunately, these two officers lost their lives in this uh, uh, pursuit. Um, we'll go ahead and request tow service for this uh, police car. And uh, we'll go ahead and clear traffic control. And that will be that. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode of LSPDFR. If you enjoyed and you are uh, enjoying the LSPDFR series right here on the channel, go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, all the support is greatly appreciated. I'm trying to get to my first 100 subscribers right here on the channel. Uh, I'd like to get to 1,000 so I can get monetized. Um, but that is for another time. So if you enjoyed... Feel free to check out tomorrow's episode of LSPDFR and or any other videos here on the channel for that matter. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.